Testing, one, two, three. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Got it? Okay, cool. How can we be the best versions of ourselves in the digital world? Well, we asked a group of young people about mental health and their experiences growing up. I'm curious how long have you had a phone for? I got my first phone when I was really young because I kept on using my parents' devices and it really annoyed them because I needed that for work. For me, probably since I was like six, I got my first. I got my first phone in about year five. I probably got mine when I was around eight. It was a really, really old phone and then it died and then I got a new one and it died and then I got a new one. Died and then went flat or like literally died. Died. It was gone. Do you feel better or worse after spending a long time on tech? <laughs> <laughs> if I'm just scrolling and scrolling, it's not that fun. If I'm playing a game, it's fun. Good, but then I feel like after I've wasted so much time. But then I like play the game again, so I'm fine. I actually kind of feel worse. It affects your mind and it just like, gets all frustrating and I get very angry. Just the, like the endless scrolling, where you just like scrolling video after video after video. I think I just feel guilty. What about you? Most of the time when I go on tech, I feel unmotivated. So when I use tech, I feel a bit better afterwards. I have some motivation to do something better. I think I'm in between, I can get a bit like, cranky and stuff like that, but I can sometimes feel really relaxed afterwards as well. So for the first 30 minutes of usage, I get more pumped than anything else. The stuff on my For You pages and stuff is just to get you going. So what do you do to look after your mental health? Get out every now and again. If you have pets, go for a walk. Walk your dog or something. I don't think I can walk my cat. Yeah, no. Well, someone walked their bunny, so anything's possible. <laughs> when. I'm upset, I always go out, I'll go out for a run, I'll go play outside, kick the footy. But it makes me feel good when you like listen to music. I would normally like go outside, maybe play on the trampoline a bit and stuff, so that would make me feel good. When I was little I used to use um, Smiling Minds. It's like a meditation app before I went to like sleep and stuff. I use that too. I don't use it so much now, but just when I was little, when I couldn't really go to sleep, that's what I would use. When you can't sleep using the ASMR. ASMR. Have you ever seen something cool or inappropriate written, shared online about a friend or classmate? Yes, it does happen to most of my classmates. It's nasty, very nasty. I absolutely hate it. Like, just don't say it. What advice would you give to a friend who is in a bad or scary situation because of something they shared? If I was going through troubles, I'd go to my parents. Find a trusted adult. I don't care if it is a teacher or a coach. Um, your cousin, your auntie, I find that the further away they are, the less mad they're gonna get because they're not as close to you, they don't have that much control over you. I would just personally block them or just report their account and just never speak to them again. And there's lots of online spots where you can be anonymous. What's the word? Anonymous. Kids Helpline, they've got like chat, online chat functions. So you can chat to someone, like text form, so they don't even have to hear your voice, you don't have to say it out loud. Post things wisely. Double check what you're posting. Yes. And just think, stop and think, if your grandma is going to see it, would you be okay with that? <laughs> Wait, grandma? I don't know. <laughs> My grandma doesn't know how to use a phone. <laughs> it's like learning something new. You'll make mistakes and you'll get better at managing it and just remember it. Like, it's not everything, what you see online. Like. It's not real. Have a good balance between the offline world and the online world and just talk to people about your experiences. If you need help to be your best you, reach out to Kids Helpline or use Connect Us to search for services available in Melbourne's East.